Hey guys, so for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you now how you could also take your Rhino design uh, once you have your design here within the tent within the frameworks right how you could take that information and actually bring it into the site model which the site model is actually in a different program it's in sketchup um, but i can show you guys how we can translate information between different 3d software and potentially then how you could uh, put your uh, your design into the site and select the views and then output those views and then you could you know use those as the background to make your own drawings uh, that you trace over uh, or Photoshop on top of them or uh, just leave them as they are for your two perspectives that are uh, part of your final submission right so here you know we have again those those two sort of quick schemes that I had developed in the last tutorial and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's say that this was my my favorite scheme and I'm going to um, group it and I'm going to mirror it and I'm going to mirror it over uh, this axis. Right. And so we could imagine that here are my two modules when they come together and they close, you know, so when I bring them together like this. Uh, I'm not sure why that didn't bring them together, but whatever. There we go, right? We could imagine that it produces these sort of enclosed drums with, with things for some of them and some fully see-through pieces for others, uh, et cetera. So let's say that this is the design that I like. And so this is what I would like to see on the site, okay? So what I would do now is I would select these two uh, units and I'm gonna go to File, Export Selected. And when I, Select, use that and type the export selected. Now it's, I get to choose what type of file format. And in this case, it's great because we can actually save it as a SketchUp file, right? So we can use that as the file format. And in this case, I'm gonna go here and uh, save it here in uh, our tutorials. And I'm gonna save it here as our file. So pop up. Right, so I've gone ahead and saved it. You can, you should export it as the type of SketchUp that you are using. If you have it downloaded onto your computer, it might be 2019, 2020, 2021. If otherwise, um, just choose the latest version. Uh, if you're going to be doing it on uh, SketchUp Make, which is a browser version of the program. So SketchUp is a program that is free. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you that, but um, it's also available on the launch pad. So I've gone ahead and, and exported that. And uh, so I'm just gonna quickly show you here, right? You could go to SketchUp. Make, and this is the official uh, site for SketchUp and you can see here that there are all sorts of different plans, uh, but you can you can actually sign up to just try SketchUp, or you can use uh, huh? They've changed all their pricing, so I guess it used to all be free, and now it all costs something. Nope, there we go, SketchUp. There we go. So you just have to sign up here, and you'll see once you sign up you just get to use it on the web based modeler if you don't want to go down this route, you can also go to one prac right so we can go one prac technology and use the launch pad. Uh, same thing as some of you have already been using the launch pad for rhino anyway and you'll see that that uh, sketchup is one of the softwares that we can use so this is taking just a second, but if I go to the launch pad here you can see you can launch with uh, SketchUp. Okay. So, um, okay, perfect. So those are the two ways that you could do it. I'm gonna show you, I actually have it natively. So, uh, and here's the file that is available for you guys to download uh, from Canvas. And so when you open that file, you'll see this is what our site, our plaza looks like as, it, as it's modeled. And um, SketchUp uses a little bit different ways of moving around in space. So if you use your scroll button in your mouse, 
you can zoom in and out. You know, you can do the same thing, two fingers on the trackpad, you can zoom in and out. And then uh, if you hold your scroll button, then that's how you can rotate. So you're, if you hold down, then you can sort of, and then move your mouse, that's how you can rotate. On the trackpad, um, you can do the same thing, hold down and then drag your fingers. Mine, since it's a PC, doesn't have that functionality, okay? So you can see, we can sort of see what that already is. And you'll notice that in, uh, if you need to pan like this, right? So instead of rotate, if you need to pan, you, have, you hold shift and you hold down that scroll button and that's how you can move around, okay? Now, the nice thing about this file is that if you guys look up here, that the, it already comes with preset scenes. So if you just click on any one of those, these are like those viewports that we had in Rhino, but we already have some pre-selected scenes, right? That you can choose and that you can place your object anywhere on this plaza, right? So that's super useful. So that, that's already there. And really all we have to do is take our model, which we've just imported and place it onto our site. So what you would do here is you go to file, import and now i have to go find it right so i saved it in my prat and it should be down here at the bottom pop up space. so i'm going to import this and there it has imported it and you'll see now i have to place it on the site and now it comes in and actually it comes in at the correct scale, right? So we were modeling in one to one uh, digitally and it has come in at the correct size. So you can see each of these uh, pavers is about five foot by five foot. So here are our two pieces. If I double click on them, now I'm inside of the group and I can move things objects in the group. Um, everything comes kind of a, a, a little bit um, as all as all one piece. So it might be actually better to import it like this and then actually then go back into Rhino, move these pieces apart from each other and import it as, uh, as separate, right? So, uh, so that you can more quickly grab the different pieces, okay? So I might actually just import it twice. But once I'm here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab all of this stuff. And you'll see that this, this program operates a little bit differently. When you move things, it sort of changes them. So that's why you, you, you don't want to just move things unless they're pre-grouped. Okay. So uh, for this part, I'm just going to show you how to then you would take this and now we can move it and put it potentially wherever we want it in its closed position. So let's say that I think when it's closed at night, it should sit right in the middle here and uh, facing that gate, which is the entrance to Pratt, just sort of just like this. Now I can now go to my scenes and I can capture these views, right? And so to capture these views, I would then go to file and then I would say export 2D graphic, and I can save this as a JPEG or as a PNG or anything else, right? So I might actually just save it as a JPEG here, save this image as a JPEG, and then go into Photoshop and in Photoshop, I can draw on top of it. I could use it as a background layer. I could print this out and sketch, resketch this so that you, you can make a really nice hand drawing, but now all of a sudden I have all of the information at the correct scale and I have a proper uh, perspectival drawing background that I can use, right? And I would select a view or maybe I don't want to select a view. Maybe I want to make my own view. I think it's going to look really cool like this, you know, so I could export this file, export this as my view, 2D graphic. Okay, and so that's how I would go about uh, saving the views. Now, let's say this is my closed one. So I still wanna go ahead and, and do this. 
I'm going to export these two, export those two selected but separated so that then I can move them around. And I'm going to do here the same thing pop up, separate. Okay. Now I go here, and after I can go file, same thing, file, import. I can bring those in. Okay. So if you want to edit things in, in now that we have our two separate objects, if you want to rotate them or move them around, the way that uh, SketchUp works is that um, you have to double click to select into a group. So then once you've double clicked, now you can actually edit things inside of that group. So I would double click and I would select all that stuff and I would right click now and make that one group. So now it's that one group, but you can see all of this is still grouped separately. So same thing here, right click, make a group. Okay. Uh, now, uh, actually, you'll probably actually have your settings so that when you're in a group, it looks like this. And that's actually better because then you can see how those things relate to the other stuff while still being inside of the group. And now I can actually move objects. So let's say I want to move this. You can just type M and then start moving. And same thing here, I can grab that one, type M without pressing anything else, start put, putting it. So maybe I think actually, oh, when these guys are uh, on the site and open, what I actually want is for them to be, is for them to be uh, somehow at a diagonal from each other. And then maybe I also want them to rotate. Right, so uh, I actually want them to, to rotate. So I, this is the rotate tool here. This is the scale. You don't want to use that one, but rotate and move, right? So you can either type R or M, uh, or you can just select those two buttons right there. And I can just rotate them on the site, right? So maybe I want these guys to be something like this. I'm not sure, but let's say that that is what I want. maybe somehow blocking or slowing people down as they come down this sort of promenade and then kind of opening up to create a kind of plaza space there, right? Then I would just grab this one, move it out of the way. Uh, and then now I can go to my views, same thing. And now I can grab my two views of my, uh, of my object open, if that's what I choose to represent. Okay, and that's it. And then once you have these, then you can, you know, again, you can just Photoshop these images or you can uh, draw on top of them or you can just use them as your background in order to make your final two perspective drawings.